YouTubers, how are you doing? Sarah from Sarah Rooks Photography here. I've just come to look at my channel and I can't believe I've 660 subscribers and 123,997 video views. That is crazy. So why am I making this video? Well, I get loads of messages all the time asking me when I'm going to be making some more. What is wrong with you people? Gluttons for punishment or what? So anyway, I want to show... I want to share something with you. Definitely not me, because you're not going to be viewing me whilst I'm chatting, because I've got no makeup on, and believe you me, that is scary. So you can view some of my work whilst I'm chatting. Right, my business may have a fantastic opportunity coming its way. Another studio move. Because where I am now, I've just completely exploded out of it, quite literally. I've way too many props for my props room, and my shooting space is just too small. So whilst out and about the other day with my children, I found what I think to be the perfect studio. And I really would like your opinion on, on you know, on what you think and also put a plea out to you later. So if you come with me as I show you around. So here we are at um, Floraland's Garden Village and Farm Park. And this is where I will be based. I'm going to show you a quick looky as we make our way to the studio. So walking across the car park and to our left is the entrance to the farm park. Um, it's really cheap to get in and there's a lovely play picnic area for the children. Um, lots of wooden climbing frames, um, ride on tractors. I think there's a couple of aviaries in there with birds in. And then if you carry on through there, it takes you on a little walk and where there's lots of other animals to view um, pigs and llamas, donkeys, um, chickens and geese and um, a small enclosure with rabbits and stuff a few more animals other than that and then walking back through the car park uh, I've cut that out we come on the right to some little cabins that have little businesses in or quite crafty things um, and then this is a bit of a miserable grey day, it's been raining so they're not outside but normally they uh, have tables and that outside as well. So now I've turned round and walking um, back up, this entrance is um, opposite those um, little log uh, cabins and this takes you into the um, garden centre kind of gift shop area. Um, it sells the most beautiful things, um, quite literally everything, and it's all set up really pretty. So this is a lovely area, um, gifts and lots of different toys and um, things for the home. You can see all the toys there. And then walking through, if you carry on through here, this is the coffee shop. And I've just cut it, so now we're in the coffee shop. And it's the restaurant part. And then you can go through to the lounge. And back down the slope into the coffee shop again. And I think there's another small lounge um, the opposite side. So going back out of the doors that we've come in, and if you go straight ahead, you get back into the gift shop, but um, we're going to be turning left out of the door. And this takes you to the outside part where the decking is for the coffee shop area. If it's a nice day, you can sit outside. And on the right here, they're going to be having some peacocks in this enclosure, which is uh, going to be nice. And this building here that you can see with the high, well, floor level windows on the outside, but inside it's a high level window. This will be my shooting room. There's quite a few windows in here. And it's attached to a, another building. Um, On both will be mine, hopefully. We pull back a bit and hopefully you can see it all.
Might be that little swing there I should be sitting on in the morning to have my coffee. And it's right in the heart of the actual garden centre where all the plants are. Oh look, magic doors have just opened. So I'm going to take you inside now to have a look. So this is the inside of um, the main bit that won't be the shooting area. Um, this will have my reception in and area for the little ones to play. And to the left here through the archway is doors leading to the aquatic greenhouse. And just on the left here is probably where I will be having, have my viewing area um, with a projector showing onto that wall just there and some nice settees, coffee table um, to make it nice and comfy for my clients. And also they'll be able to sit and relax in this area if they want to come out of the shooting room for somewhere a bit more comfortable to uh, chill during the session. And through here will be the um, toilet area and the kitchen so a lot of work needs to be done here I need to have a suspended ceiling or something needs to be done with the ceiling bathroom needs plumbing in unfortunately I can't have a regular toilet because of the sewerage it has to be a composting or incinerator one um, and also I need to build some sort of kitchen unit in there and this is coming through into the shooting room now um, and I will have it in three different sections and the roof needs some work doing to it, it needs to be insulated um, but I want to somehow keep the look of the beams because I like the character of it I really don't want to have to have a suspended ceiling in here or cover them up in any way um, that window there is what you can see floor level on the outside uh, in the corner over there I will have the beanbag area where I do my beanbag shots and one of the other corners will do be the floor and pot shots, uh, backdrops and that and smack bang in the middle um, over there will be um, for bigger children and families. So making our way back now to the um, main heart of the building it's just amazing and I just know I could be really really happy here and make it into something absolutely beautiful um, but it needs a lot of work I think it's a fantastic location especially with having the farm park um, part of it um, because often I get clients that have siblings um, so the newborn shoots last three to four hours and what a fantastic it would be just so the children could go and uh, play in the farm park till we're ready for the shoot or after we've finished with their part they can go back and play um, and it adds to their experience as well as um, their mum and dad's. So it all sounds great in theory but a big 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 but lots of work needs doing to it. Um, there's the ceiling in the kitchen bathroom area that something has to be done about. There is the ceiling in the shooting room that something needs to be done about the um, because there is no heat so I need to get some form of oil filled radiators, electric fans, um, anything that will do the job basically to warm it up because a newborn shoot obviously it needs to be very toasty. Um, and then there's the flooring in the shooting room they do have a little bit of a problem under that window that's ground level on the outside and high up on the inside if it flash floods badly they do get a trickle of water in there and 
with the window being where it is and the outside being where it is, they can't do anything about it. So I have to put some sort of raised floor in there. So that needs to be done. And then also a wooden floor needs to be laid throughout the whole building. These are things that I know I can't afford straight away. But these are things that have to be done straight away. Unfortunately, I can't even think about moving my business into there until these things have been done. Um, I've also, the added stress at the moment is uh, my private home where I'm living. My landlord's decided he needs his house back. So, unfortunately, um, we're going to be homeless um, by the 20th of October. Uh, myself and my two children. One of them is little, he's only four. Um, so, at the moment, I'm looking for somewhere to rent as a home. And I think if I have to move the business and have to move home at the same time, I will either have a nervous breakdown or a heart attack. So, what are your thoughts, YouTubers? Um, I've, t I've kind of told them I want the studio, um, but said I can't move both at the same time. And, you know, how long will they give me before I have to start paying rent? Because I don't want to be paying rent on two studios before I can, you know, do it up and eventually move in. Um, I so desperately want this because the location is phenomenal. Um, so if anybody knows anybody that's a handy plumber, electrician, builder, what have you, that fancies doing any work um, for extremely reduced rates or would like um, family shoots or free... I don't know, free sessions or something where we can work together. I could take photos of their business or, you know, something it's all about businesses working together and networking, isn't it? I'm a firm believer of networking. So, yeah, please send them my way. That would be amazing if I could get some help on this. Um, or, you know, if anybody wanted to donate anything, that would be just crazy, I know. But, you know, my PayPal account is Sarah Wilkes at sarahwalksphotography.co.uk that would be yeah crazy a bit stupid really but amazing um eternally grateful let me know what you think and whether i should push forward with this okay thanks keep up with my work it's www.sarahwalksphotography.co.uk thanks see ya